What's up guys, Simply Coco here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another speed build in the world of Mount Komorebi. Um, you definitely know by now this is uh, what came with the newest expansion pack, Sim I mean Sims 4-4. I mean, wait, what? Oh my gosh, what am I saying? Sims 4-4? Four -four? Um, <laughs> the Sims 4 Snowy Escape. Uh, as you can tell by the title of this video, I am building a cyberpunk apartment today i don't know what it's going to be titled yet but by the time you're watching this i would have picked the title um so yeah i got inspiration basically from first i saw a build on pinterest or a building on pinterest just looking at different japanese style uh buildings that you would find in like a japanese city like in tokyo or something as a matter of fact the build the building i found actually is in tokyo and um i'll pop the photo of it up on the screen now just so you can see what i'm kind of copying because i i am like directly copying the exterior the interior is all like i did it myself i didn't copy anything but the exterior i definitely needed some inspiration excuse me just had to burp one out <laughs> um so yeah i found this photo first and then I was watching, I think, one of Devin Bumpkin's streams, and he mentioned the game Cyberpunk 2077 that's coming out, and I watched the trailer, and, like, I'm not a huge gamer, like, I literally play The Sims 4 and the Spider-Man game that came with the PS4, <laughs> um, yes, I went and bought a PS4 when they were on sale for Black Friday, when they came in the Spider-Man bundle. I literally went and bought it just for that game, and that's the only game I have on that, um, on the PS4. I do have The Sims 4 on the PS4, but I just cannot play it with a controller. I need to be playing Sims 4 on the computer. <laughs> I've never enjoyed playing it on console. Um, sorry if you're a console player. I don't mean that to be rude or ugly. It's just my preference. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I watched the trailer for Cyberpunk 27, 2077 and I kind of want to play it. Like, I, I want to get into different games. I want to branch out and play other things. Like, I've been playing Fall Guys and I've been playing Among Us and Planet Zoo and stuff like that. But, like, I want to play like more serious games and i just want to like give it give it a go you know um more story driven games definitely um strategy games and rpg and just all i, I just want to try it all and when 2077 cyberpunk 2077 comes out i think i'm gonna buy it um i think it's on the ps4 I don't think it's a PS5 game. It'll probably be on PS5, but I think they're releasing it for PS4 as well. I'm not sure. Um, I wanted a PS5. As a matter of fact, I was going to like trying to get my boyfriend to buy it for me on my uh, birthday, which was November 15th, if you didn't know. <laughs> but he was like, nah, I'm, nah, fam, I'm not buying that. <laughs> so... Um, who knows maybe it'll go on sale for black friday and i will buy it myself i don't know we'll see but um yeah i'm gonna get into that game and i might stream it as well so let me know if you would watch me stream cyberpunk 2077 speaking of streaming i stream every once in a while over on twitch that is twitch.tv forward slash simply coco just give me go give me a follow over there i only need two more followers over there before i'm an affiliate um so we love that for me <laughs> thank you all for your continued support those of you that do stick around and watch my streams and watch my videos and all that i really do appreciate it i was saying in one of my previous speed builds how i've been feeling really discouraged lately just because it seems like everyone around me um, when Snowy Escape came out, their subscriber counts were jumping, were skyrocketing, you know, every day. And mine was just staying pretty stagnant. But I love what I do and I'm going to keep doing it. So let's talk about the build more. So as you can see, the exterior is coming together. Um, I'm adding a lot, not a lot, but I'm adding several details. Like I put these pipes over here and these drain pipes 
And okay, so the building to the le to the left, uh, the one that I put the pipes on, that's a completely abandoned building. Nothing goes in and out of there. Um, nothing. I don't put anything in there. The bottom part of the building is a shell anyway, so you can't go in it at all. But it was a general store or something like that. Um, and later on, I go and use those wall details from Snowy Escape. And I make it look like the door is boarded up. So, oh, excuse me. I was like <laughs> trying to hold back a burp. I don't know why I didn't just let it out. But I'm drinking coffee. So that's why I'm, I'm like steady have burping. So sorry about that. But um, now I'm just putting lines to kind of like mimic that it's like a road, like a city street corner or something like that. Um, but then this building to the right. So the downstairs is going to be a cafe. And it's actually going to be owned by the person that lives in the actual apartment. Um, you won't see me furnish the cafe, but in the finished lot on the gallery, the cafe will be done. Um, it's just for this build, I didn't want to also furnish a cafe because it's not really going to have the same cyberpunk vibe. Um, so for the speed build, I just wanted to show you the exterior in the apartment. But if you download this lot, the cafe will be furnished. You would have to change the lot type in order for it to work because I do have it set as a residential. But what you could do, you could set it as a retail lot, have, you know, create a sim that you want to own the cafe, not a retail lot, a cafe lot, and then create a sim that you would want to own that cafe lot and then just have that sim live on the lot. Um, if you can do that. I know you can do it with retail lots, but I don't know if you can do it with cafe lots. Uh, if you can like actually have someone own it. Um, you can make it a restaurant and have them own it and they just live there. But anyway, I'll leave that up to you. So now I'm just doing more detailing on the exterior, adding some outside lights because if you remember the reference photo that I popped up that it the vibe it was dark outside and the building was very lit up with a lot of different random lights so I tried to um, mimic that as best as I could just then you saw me put pit like posters on the windows I felt that looked really um, I don't know what the I don't know what word I'm looking for but I feel like that was that would be something you would see at like a cafe, like if the cafe is advertising something or if someone else comes and asks the cafe, hey, can I post my fundraiser poster on your window or something like that. Um, I do put this eco lifestyle selling table outside, maybe. I don't really know why, because I kind of have a storyline for this build um, that I will get into more when I get into the actual apartment um, but it's definitely gonna be like a post-apocalyptic kind of situation um, where you don't really want to be outside but I'll get into that later um, so maybe that table's just there just because but that was me boarding up the door to the other building and here's the interior so this is the actual apartment itself so in the cafe, if you walk in the front door of the cafe, there's the actual like proper cafe area. And then in the back is going to be like a kitchen for like the pastries and stuff that they sell, extra equipment. And then back there also is going to be the staircase up to his apartment. Um, so it's a studio apartment. You will see me put a ladder to a, another level up, but I end up deleting it because I didn't want that level to be accessible. I wanted it to be a studio apartment. I just thought th that would fit the aesthetic better. Um, so I'm using these base game couches. I end up getting rid of the smaller one and just keeping the big one because as I started to furnish it, I wanted more room for like different computers because cyberpunk is basically just, if you don't know what it is, it's basically like just futuristic and high tech. That's basically all it is. I didn't like go out of my way to like do any research on what cyberpunk is, but just from what I've gathered, it's just hot. It's just futuristic and high tech. Like everything is digital. Everything um, is electronic, um, high tech and yeah, etc. <laughs> so 
that is just what I try to make present in this build. I did look at a few reference photos of cyberpunk like inspired apartments and stuff and some like um some I don't know what's uh, what's the word for it? Some like where a, like a render, that's what it's called. I looked at some cyberpunk um apartment renders like stuff that people just made. Um but I wasn't like copying one thing. I was just getting general inspiration to know what kind of items to put in the build. Um, but a lot of the photos that I found, they had these like open bathrooms, like where the bathrooms were completely open to the rest of the um, home. So that's what I mimicked here. Um, I feel like that's really strange, but <laughs> um, maybe it's like a futuristic thing where there's so many people living. There's so many like people on earth now, like the population is crazy that the the living conditions have become so small that everything has to be open <laughs> but speaking of just <clears throat> the people in the storyline of this build so i do imagine a guy living here and i imagine he is a he is an assassin um he has he doesn't he didn't always be an assassin but maybe some guy came into his cafe one day and said hey do you want a job and he accepted so like i said this isn't a this is in a post-apocalyptic world or version of the world where if you stay outside for too long your body collects toxins maybe in your skin or something like that and over time if you over time, if you don't get rid of those toxins, it will kill you. And so in order to get rid of those toxins, you have to have a <clears throat> decontaminating shower. And right now you see that I have a tub in here, but I will go back and change it to a decontaminating shower that came with get to work. Um, so if you, if you, but the same company that caused the toxins to be released into the atmosphere that is killing people they're the same company that made that's making the dis in the decontaminating showers and they're like really really expensive and only like the elite people can afford these decontaminating showers and there's probably like people that sell them for cheaper on the black market and there's probably like fake versions of it where like someone took one apart and then just recreated it um, but sometimes they don't always work whatever there's ways around the system but for the poor people that can't afford these decontaminating showers they die like even they might have a home they might you know they might be fine as as far as like their living arrangements but they don't have enough money for this shower so if they go outside they die and they have to risk that um so the person that came into his cafe offered him a job to assassinate everyone or the leaders the top people in this company um and then they are going to make these showers for for basically for free um because without them you know the human race would cease to exist so that's the storyline <laughs> um i really want every time i do a build that excites me like this i always want to do a let's play on it <laughs> but i don't know how i would mimic that in the sims <laughs> I guess the same way I did the vampire thing, he would just have to go out and fight people. And if he won the fight, that means he killed he that means he killed them. I don't know. But I think it would just be hard to kind of replicate just to kind of play out that storyline in The Sims. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write a book about it. <laughs> Cause if you don't know, I do have a degree in journalism, and that doesn't mean I'm an author by any means, but I do want to write books. Um, I started one back in college and I never finished it and I want to finish it and then I'm going to add this to the list. I have a whole, um, I have notes in my, I have a whole note like 
thing in my phone of of book ideas. It's like six to eight ideas. <laughs> um with like photos of who I would who I would imagine would be the characters. Um like real life actors. I just do that because it, it when I'm re- when I read books, I picture like real life actors as the people in the book. It just helps me envision what's happening in the book. So I figured that would like help me write them as well. Um, but anyway, I'll talk about the build a little more. So I'm just cluttering it up a little bit. There is no proper kitchen. He just has a um, mini fridge and a microwave, but there will be a proper kitchen in the cafe if he needed like an actual stovetop meal. Um, and then I put the listening station because I imagine he would be eavesdropping on a whole bunch of folks. Um, I put a reg- just a regular computer. I do put a secondary computer on top, on, also on that same desk, but it's not functional because um, he can't get to it. And then I use, excuse me, the Stranger Real Clutter. I use the Eco Lifestyle empty bottles and cans and stuff like that and pizza boxes. I just wanted it to be very messy because I imagine he's not, he doesn't spend a lot of time here. He just comes here to sleep. He eats something and he leaves it there and doesn't worry about it. Um, he probably doesn't like to be messy, but it just happens. I did put a money bag under the listening station, so he's not struggling for money at all, uh, ever since he has started, um, assassinating these people, (laughs) um, because the people that hired him obviously pay him, um, I imagine, like, before he got hired, like, he didn't have a shower either, and, Um, he could never leave his house. That's probably how it got so dirty. He could never leave his house. And then the guy came into his cafe and was like, Hey, I will give you this disinfecting shower and pay you X amount of money every week. If you go and kill these people. (laughs) Um, but here's the last thing I'm going to do before this build wraps up. I'm using these debug wires from journey to bat Two just to add that extra touch of this place being completely electronic um and just cyber (laughs) um hence cyberpunk um and that's really it everyone um i think that's all i do i may go and add a few more clutter items but other than that the build is over i did put the like costume rack over there just so he would have somewhere to change clothes even though they don't really have to have that to change clothes and then I move this punching bag to the middle of the room I don't put anything on the balcony because with outside being toxic you wouldn't want to be out there (laughs) but other than that guys I'm just finishing up with the clutter so I hope you enjoyed this build don't forget to like and subscribe and I will always respond to your comments and please hit that notification bell that way you know exactly when I post my next video exactly when I post it and I will see you all then bye guys